Let's take a quick look at the BCA Instructors page and how to use it. Navigate to Classrooms from the main menu, Teacher's Corner, BCA Instructors. On this page, you'll see each student's average score denoted by the blue bar chart as shown. The red line chart shows the percentage gain relative to the initial diagnostic exam. In this case, we can see no initial diagnostic exam was taken. We can see the class average, about 50% in this case, and we can see all the recent exams taken. So it looks like this class was recently taking BCA Math Exam 04. And the black line chart indicates the number of mistakes and unanswered questions for each of those exams. The table that reflects that data is shown below, and that can be filtered in any way you want to. So for example, if I just wanted to check Emil's scores, I can do that and the chart will adjust to reflect that. So I can see how Emil has done on his recent exams. Below that, we can see the category results and the student answers for all the exams taken. That way we can check really quickly what categories does this class need help in. We can see they need work in geometry, combinations, permutations. Probably not surprising. Those are two of the more advanced sections of the exam. Also, least common multiples, greatest common factors, angles, triangles, prime numbers, and divisibility. These are lower scores in the neighborhood of it looks like 29%, 29% respectively. So these are areas we might want to investigate further as a class. The black line chart shows the number total of incorrect answers given for that particular category of question by the entire class. So the percentage is not enough to tell the full story. We know algebra word problems is a big part of the exam, so the number incorrect there is significant, even though the percentage at 44 might be higher than some of the other categories. It's such a large section of the exam, it's probably worth focusing on those mistakes as well. Below that, we'll see the student answer table for all students shown. By default, it shows 10 entries. We can change that to include 25, 50, 100, or even all mistakes. So in this case, I'll show 100 of the mistakes. And we can see below, there are actually 1 to 100 shown of 149 mistakes in total. And by default, that shows it by exam and by question number. So I can see questions, say, for example, on Math Exam 04, question number 4 was repeated twice. So there are two mistakes on that question. Same for number 5 and 7. And this way I can see some of the questions that many of the students got wrong at the same time. Additionally, I can filter this table as well. So if I wanted to look at, say, Safa's mistakes, I can see all of Safa's mistakes as a result. And if I wanted to filter by exam, perhaps only the mistakes on the BCA Math Exam 04, I can filter by that as well. And as a result, I'll see there are 14 mistakes Staffa made. That includes wrong and unanswered questions. In this way, I can quickly track what categories, what difficulty of mistakes are made, and zero in on the particular questions I might want to review with this student. Last but not least, we can see a summary of the course and lesson progress. It indicates the number of students in class, including the teacher. So in this case, there would be four students away from the teacher, and the number of courses that are required in this particular class. We can filter that group to see their progress through each of those courses in the following manner. I could select my group, and perhaps I want to see if they've done BCA Stage 1 Math. So we saw earlier they did not do the diagnostic exam according to our student averages chart. Let's confirm that that's the case. So I can see their stage one math progress is not started down the list. So they have not done their diagnostics. That's correct. I could look a little more closely to see what math exams they have done. So I'm going to filter for BCA math exams for the group. And I'll see each of the students have done 11% of the available math exams for that course unit. Oh, with the exception of one. But wait a second. We just searched for that student's results. So probably what happened is the student completed the exam there but forgot to mark it complete when they were done. So the lesson is still marked incomplete. It's advisable to mark the lessons complete 
Otherwise, you may not be able to advance to other sections and courses. And if I want to email the group I filtered for, particularly the whole group, or if I go back, I might even filter for a particular student, and then I could send that student an email. And that completes our summary of how to use the BCA Instructors page. I hope it helps.